Hello. We're at that table again. It's been a whole long time, honest, and I've totally cleaned it and not just doing like two videos in a row without actually changing anything. God, look at that scar. Look at that scar. And, oh God, I hate it when you can see things move. Hmm, my PC's making noises. I should probably be worried about that. Yes, we've got another video. Instantly, here's a very old ticket roll from uh, the boss company I work for. Yeah, that's something that needs to go in the bin. But moving on very swiftly. It's one of these again, Atlas Dinky Toys, which is nice. Um, and yes, it is the first one I've covered outside the sort of big running series I did for a week, which actually went down quite well, so thank you for observing that. But I also have some bad news, and that being that my financial situation is rather millennial, and therefore I don't actually currently have the money to continue with this service, because it's about 20 five-ish pounds a month, which isn't a huge amount, but it is, if that makes sense. So this is the last one of these I'm going to be doing for a little bit, at least until my financial situation improves, probably in the new year. And then I'll break it up again, because this series has been fairly popular. But it is the last one, so I hope it's a good one, unless I paid for one and they haven't sent it yet, which is always a possibility. Um, but yes, just to make that aware, let's get rid of the box. Uh, I haven't actually checked to see if my name's in any of this. You can see what the toy is. I'm just going to make sure my name's not in it. My name is not in it. Woo! Right, well, let's put the toy over there so he can't see. Oh, that actually. Ooh. Let's see what stuff they're trying to sell us now. Valentino Rossi's motorbike. You can make it in a million episodes. And it's all worth $39.96. When it, it, it doesn't cost much. And don't buy these. They, they cost a huge amount of money. And yeah, all right. You get no, oh, you get a free portable charger with your third delivery. Bloody hell! No, just don't buy these. They end up being way more expensive. One of my co-workers is doing like a London bus, and it's costing her like a thousand pounds or something stupid like that for this model. All right, yeah, big model and all that. A lot of a London bus. It's a route master, but who likes route masters? For God's sake, it's bloody awful things. Um, that's what the vehicle is. Once again, Atlas Editions. Maybe I should cut this bit out and stick it on a box full of rocks, so they have to pay for that. That would be really mean. And what we got here, oh, cake decorating. With issue one, you get those things, which, what have they got to do with cake decorating? I mean, they're like biscuit cutters. And all right, that bit maybe. I used to, I used to bake quite a bit. Cake decorating is literally a magazine. Like, it's a magazine of people who, all right, you want to bake cakes? That's absolutely fine. Me, I am used to, but I'm not a, a cake baker. Oh, look, I could actually do it to that company as well. How about just a big box of rocks with the words no thanks written on all of them? I could do something like that as well. I'd do some woodwork whittling. Maybe I could make something out of wood, like a giant penis with the words no engraved on it. Yes, yes. Our first two magazines and high quality tools were only four ninety eight. You see, that's these are probably more value than um the motorbike though, because the ship you get could actually have a feasible use where the motorbike is just a point. Only one four scale, but even so. Let's move on from that point, because we didn't come here to look at the adverts inside. We came here for this. An Austin covered wagon, number 413. Dinky Toys. Yes, and it's blue as well. So are we going to get a blue one or a red one? Do we get a blue one or a red one? Place your bet. No prize whatsoever. Incidentally, somebody did win that competition. I did, but I never actually posted the stuff because we never really got in contact. A bit weird. Anyway, this proves that this is real and exists and isn't just something that I cleverly edited in using like Sony Vegas or something. This is real and this piece of paper proves it. Hey, what are Dinky's most popular 30 series of commercial trucks? The beautifully diecast Austin dates back from September 19, blah, 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 blah. Right, let's just get in. They don't care about paper. What kid reads bloody paper? I accept you're probably not going to buy these for children. I would have, if I was a kid and had money, I would have brought these and played with them for sure. Uh, you're probably not going to buy these for things. Ooh. Oh, it's blue. It's a blue one. We get the blue one, not the red one. I wonder if the red ones are super rare. Super rare. Sort of blind box. Just keep getting these things until you get a red one. Oh, mind you, I think they're all blue. Except in your typical uh, wax paper. It's waxy. Ooh. That's metal. All right, the, the cover is metal and has terrible seam work, which is fine because it's metal and I'd much prefer to have terrible seam work and metal parts than plastic on a recreation. What's that made of? I think that's... I mean, now if you look, it's got a tooth mark in it that wasn't there a minute ago when I fucking bit it. And there's probably a dent on the back now as well. I think it's metal. 
I think those bits are metal, but I'm not 100% sure. They could be plastic. They, uh, that, No, that's plastic. So I bit it and put a tooth mark in it for no good reason because it's obvious it's plastic. Um, it is basically, though, pretty much besides that front bit, as far as I can tell, a full metal toy with no interior cab. Quite problem, though, common with the dinky toys. Dinky Toys, Austin, made in China, editions, Atlas at Mattel. That's what they have written on the bottom. If you ever buy Dinky Toys, look out for that because it's a telltale. Oh, the inside's got lines, you know, that's quite nicely molded. That's not a bad thing. You know, it's all right. It, um, I don't like it as much as some of the other ones, like uh, like uh, the Tipper Truck, for example. Uh, I like this one a lot more. And Yeah, they're all still here from when I made that video series. I don't even remember what this is, but I probably like it more. Oh, this is the Heinz van. Yeah, actually, let's compare the Heinz van to this van. Okay, these are two separate things you get. This is about nine weeks in, and this is two weeks in. I know which one is a hell of a lot better. In fact, I'm keeping this one forever because I genuinely like that. Everything else can go, but that's staying. You know, I mean, this one even has plastic windows. And this one is technically more expensive because it's further down the line. I mean, okay, they're different toy designs, but... I mean, again, it's not terrible. It's sort of on level with the milk float wherever they, wherever I've left that. It's all right. That's better, though. That just wins everything. You can sit on here on your lying box because you should be in red.